Um, I want to ask a question about Israel. I'm wondering what the Quran has to say, if anything, about the modern existence of Israel and what future directions. Pardon? I'm wondering what will happen in the future if the Quran or if there any hadith which points to the development of the situation in the Middle East. In the Middle East? Yes. The Holy Quran has made a fundamental statement that if the Jews behaved honestly and correctly and righteously, they would not be dispelled from this land. And if others, whoever they are, behave, continue to behave erroneously and would not submit to the will of God and uh, frame their lives according to the dictates of the Holy Quran, then they would not inherit that land. So, there are two conditions. Number one, if Jews continue to behave, I mean, suppose the Jews behave righteously and they're honestly and with justice, then they would not be expelled from this land. But they are not behaving like this, as we understand. God knows better, but to all available knowledge, according to the all available knowledge, we can say that Jews are behaving wrongfully, they are being cruel to others, and they are extending themselves beyond their original rights, and uh, they have forgotten all norms of justice. So the possibility of their being expelled opens up. But it's not enough. There is another condition laid out. If Muslims also behave wrongfully and do not uh, act according to the dictates of, dictates of the Quran, then they will not inherit, inherit that land. If Muslims begin to behave righteously and become truly pious and beloved of God, and the Jews continue to behave in this manner as they do, <coughs> that would be the time when Allah says that a heavy punishment would be, uh, uh, would overtake the Jews, they will be expelled from the land, never to come back again. They will be dispossessed. And the righteous people would become the inheritors. So all this is explained in terms of principles, not in terms of time, when this will happen. So I can't say when this would happen if the Muslims reform their ways of life, if they begin to believe in the reformer which has been sent to, by, uh, to them by God, then uh, a remote future can come very close to you. But if they continue to behave in this way, that future may keep on running away from them without, beyond their reach. Um, can I ask a follow-up question? Yes, please. Um, you say if the Jews behave righteously, then they'll not be expelled from the land. Does this mean that it would mean it would be alright for them to keep sovereignty over Israel? I mean, Pardon? Does this, does this mean that it would be alright for them to keep <coughs> sovereignty as a Jewish state if they behave righteously? You know, it, it, it is a relative question. The point is, if they behave righteously, and they are given the message of Islam and they reject it, how can you call them behaving righteously then? To behave righteously is a very wide term, which I used in principle in, 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 a, in, a, in a small, I mean apparently it's a small term, but it is very wide in application. If somebody is righteous minded, a sole abadi salihun is the word used by the Holy Quran. If somebody is a servant of God who is righteous, if he is conveyed a message from God and is given the opportunity to understand it and he rejects it, he can't be called a righteous person. So essentially, for the Jews it is important ultimately to become Muslims, to continue to hold, have their hold on, on these lands. What is preventing them 
from being expelled is only the failure of the Muslims to become righteous. In reality, this, this it comes to this, in fact. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Mr. This is the announcement. Mr. Kareem Tahir may be allowed to leave as his son, as his young son is awakened. I see. Whenever your son awakes, you leave the, your business and <laughs> rush back home. He's eh? not with his family. Where you born? He's not with his, with my wife. He's alone in another house. I see. <laughs> this. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.